Okay, so I'm about to um, give Junebug here a bath because we are going to Tales in the City in Chicago to do a blog about them because I love them. They outfit all the Gold Coast dogs and I, the, the guys are my friends that own it. And um, so I thought, well, I'll just do a blog about washing my damn doll so it would just be as cute to be. So Junebug, of course, like any other dog, doesn't really like getting her her head clean, but she is low to the ground, so I give her a bath once a week, and when I read the Yorkie um, handbook, it says dogs must be washed and brushed once a week and brushed every day. Well, I don't brush her every day, but I use good shampoo and conditioner, so she's always pretty easy to brush. I do groom her myself because I like her in this cute little puppy cut, and when I'm washing her, I make sure I don't get any in her ears, and she's okay with it running across her face as long as I put her ears down. And then I do cut around her under tail because she's got a little bob of a tail, and I don't want anything sticking to that when she goes to the bathroom. And she just doesn't really want this at all. So I'm using Bumble and Bumble Seaweed Shampoo and Conditioner. I don't use crap or dog shampoo on her. And the reason is because, you know, hair is hair, I think, and, and I just like using good stuff. I don't care if it's more expensive. She's worth it. She has less skin problems. My dog before this, I used Nexus um, Therapy and a Humectress because she always had dry skin. And after I started using that, that was just a great, great product line. But I'll use Renee Fritter on her quash or anything that my salon um, at Joseph Michaels Hair Salon uses. And you notice I put the shampoo and condition or shampoo in a mug and put water in it so it, it frothed up. So then I put a big clump of shampoo and then just stick it on the dog. That's just it's just too much. It's too cleansing in one area. I'm sure sure it wouldn't hurt her, but um, it's the same thing um, for your hair. When you're washing your hair, you want to put it on your hand, froth it up. Your shampoo goes longer, you use the studs, and it just gets over over the head. Um, so much easier and you just save so much more money. Don't you girl? Yes, you do. You don't really care. You just want, you just want the damn attention. So, just a quick rinse over because I froth it up so well. I don't really have to scrub or anything. And she's, again, she's pretty clean because she's my dog and she doesn't really like walking on grass. If we, if we take her to the, um, the, the um, dog beach here in Chicago on Lake Michigan, I have to wash her right away um, because there is sand and sand fleas and all that stuff. And there's bacteria in the water because it's a dog park. So you gotta rinse and wash that dog right away. Even if it's a big dog, you can handle a little bit more bacteria on them than a little dog licking that stuff off of them all the time. And Olive, who, where is Olive? Usually she's right here just watching. Um, all of the big labradoodle. And I think conditioner is not that important. If you're using a, um, a good shampoo, you're not going to dry out that dog's skin. And conditioner is really about the skin. A, a good shampoo shouldn't dry out the hair to make it fly away. Uh, conditioner, or conditioning rinse, I should say, really, is really just about keeping the skin moist on the dog so that the skin can make good hair. And, um, of course, it makes it easier to, to, to comb out, but if the hair is healthy, it should be pretty easy to comb out. Um, and I just use it just because it just gives it a little more fluffy look. So it's more my vanity than hers. And, but do make sure you rinse off that, that conditioner really, really well. So we ran around and had a good time. And now I'm going to plug in her, because um, Junebug has her own blender, her um, hollow key blow dryer. Um, let's see, I'm pouring coffee pot here. Uh, and then the floor dry. I like floor dry even in the summer. If it's hot, I probably wouldn't do it. She's fine. But, you know, we're in the air conditioned house and it's kind of hot outside. so. I'm going to blow dry her. I don't have to blow dry her all the way mostly, and I don't have to brush her. Um, 
And I actually like brushing her with a dent brush, a human dent brush as rubber, or um, a comb actually after she's all dry. It's just so much easier on her, and she just hates it, hates it, hates it. And of course, whatever she hates, I end up hating too because it's just torture. So I'm just going to dry her a little bit and fluff her, and then uh, let me see how beautiful she is at the end. And this is the same brush I brush my dog with. This is the one she likes. This is the only one she likes at Tales in the City. And they're, they're great little brushes and they don't hurt and they get the, the rats out and they're just fine. I don't need that little rakey thing. So she likes those brushes. I just had to point that out. <laughs> it's true, I hate those little rakey things. Yeah, they're just, she they're hates nasty. them. They all hate them. <laughs>